10 acne myths that skin experts warn you about. You eat right and follow your skincare routine to a T, yet your acne hasn't gone anywhere. What are you doing wrong? Well, you're most likely guilty of believing some common acne myths that are no help when it comes to clearing up your skin. So what are they and what should you do instead? Let's find out. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Myth number one, only teenagers get acne. We often think of acne as a teenage thing, but the truth is that it can hit you at pretty much any age. Dr. Anjali Mato, a dermatologist from Katogan Cosmetics Clinic, says that there are two main subtypes of adult acne. Persistent acne that stays with you from your teenage years and late onset acne that happens after the age of 25. Of course, just like with any acne situation, the treatment for these subtypes is different. Only a dermatologist can determine which type you have and help you treat it effectively. Myth number two, acne is contagious. Let's debunk this ridiculous myth once and for all. Acne is not contagious in any way whatsoever. Whether you're shaking hands or kissing someone who has breakouts, you're not gonna catch it like a cold. Acne can be caused by a variety of factors, including excess oil, clogged pores, bacteria, hormone imbalance, and many others. Notice how that list doesn't include human contact? So the earlier we ditch this absurd stereotype, the better. Myth number three, you should wash your face more often to get rid of acne. No one can deny that washing your face is a must for good skin health. It helps get rid of dead skin cells, excess oil, and dirt. However, you don't need to wash your face more often just because you have some breakouts. In fact, over-cleansing dries your skin out and irritates it even more, which can make your acne worse. So don't go too crazy with it. Washing your face once in the morning and once in the evening is enough. The only skincare ritual you should really stay away from if you have acne is exfoliating. Sure, all that scrubbing makes your skin feel incredibly soft, but it can also spread your acne and provoke even more spots. So stick to gentle cleansers and your skin will thank you for it. Myth number four, moisturizing can clog pores and increase acne. A lot of people with acne skip moisturizing and focus way more on drying their pimples out. But the fact of the matter is that every skin type, no matter how dry or oily it is, needs moisturizing to keep a healthy balance. If you strip your face of moisture, whether it's through over cleansing or skipping out on moisturizer, your skin tries to balance itself out by increasing oil production, which results in more breakouts. If you're worried about keeping your pores clear, just be sure to pick a moisturizer that's labeled non-comedogenic. This means it'll take care of your skin without affecting your pores. Myth number five, putting toothpaste on pimples helps heal them. Menthol or mint toothpaste can dry out a pimple. There's no denying that. However, dermatologist Dr. Rebecca Baxt warns that toothpaste also irritates your skin and leads to redness and peeling. It dries your skin out, and you already know by now the consequences of stripping your skin of moisture. If you need a quick and easy home remedy, experts suggest using hemorrhoid cream instead. It'll reduce inflammation and keep your skin moisturized. Myth number six, makeup causes acne. For some reason, people always connect makeup with acne and believe that going makeup free can clear one's skin completely. But in reality, makeup itself doesn't really cause acne. However, there are still some things you should keep in mind. First of all, try to choose products that suit your skin type. For example, if you have oily or acne-prone skin, go for foundations and BB creams that are labeled as such. Also, be sure to clean your makeup brushes and sponges regularly. Otherwise, they can harvest acne-causing bacteria. If you use your fingers to apply your makeup, Always wash your hands first. And finally, no matter how exhausted you are, never go to sleep with your makeup on if you don't want to wake up to more blemishes. Other than that, 
Whether you're feeling insecure about your skin or you just love being creative with makeup, go for it. Myth number seven, acne face mapping is legit. A lot of people turn to face maps for acne as a way to find out what internal health problems are causing their breakouts. For example, these maps say that spots on your forehead suggest digestive issues or that lung problems will show up as acne on the cheek area. However, there is no scientific evidence that any of these maps are actually accurate. Besides, the real cause of your acne could be found elsewhere. For example, pimples on the forehead are often provoked by having bangs, wearing hats all the time, or using hair products that clog pores. Cheek acne can be caused by using a dirty phone or pillowcase. So make sure to clean your touchscreen more often and change your bed linen at least twice a week. Myth number eight, you can pop pimples if you do it safely. We all know that urge and weird feeling of satisfaction that comes with popping a pimple. But if you really want your acne gone for good, you should never pick at your face. No antiseptic or any other product that makes this process seemingly safer can erase the damage your skin experiences when you pop a zit. Dermatologist Dr. Hadley C. King says that popping a pimple only introduces more bacteria into your skin and increases inflammation. Not to mention, a popped pimple won't heal faster. Instead, it'll likely leave you with a dark post-acne spot that will take months to fade, or even worse, a scar for life. The best thing you can do is just be patient and let your skin handle this problem on its own. You can always use pimple patches to keep yourself from squeezing your zits. Myth number nine, junk food causes acne. Good news for all you junk food junkies, it's totally safe for your skin. Dr. Sandra Lee, creator of the SLMD skincare line, verifies this by saying that greasy foods, such as pizza, burgers, and fries, aren't responsible for your acne. However, there are other products you should consume carefully, like dairy. You see, cow's milk or cheese is usually full of hormones that are known for triggering acne. Just try to give up dairy for at least a week and see whether your skin improves. In any case, what you eat still majorly influences how you look. So try to stick to a healthy diet and you'll see good results on the inside and out. Myth number 10, you're the one to blame for your acne. Unfortunately, a lot of people these days think that acne is a sign that you don't take care of yourself and that it's entirely your fault. But you need to understand one thing. Acne largely depends on your hormones, genetics, and many other factors that are totally out of your control. So stop beating yourself up for it and take action. The best thing you can do is to get to know your skin. Figure out your skin type and what kind of skincare and food make your acne better or worse. By doing that, you'll gain control over your acne and find a working approach that'll help you clear your skin for good. Do you know any other common acne myths? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side.